I'm Eric Novak out on Lake Simcoe in Ontario's Cottage Country and coming up on this report I'm going to learn about ice fishing. So in the wintertime, what type of person are you? Are you someone who prefers to basically uh, cocoon all winter long? You sit on the sofa at night, you watch your TV and your Netflix, and uh, you complain about how cold it is and you can't wait for spring to come? Or are you someone who instead says, you know what, it's, it's cold and it's not uh, beach weather, but it's also an opportunity for uh, time to explore and get outside and, and enjoy winter sports and all that it has to offer. I tend to be in that latter category, so I'm always out there looking for new opportunities to explore uh, winter activities and recreation. Well, the town of Georgina at the bottom end of Lake Simcoe, which is about an hour's drive north of Toronto, has decided to showcase something that they're well known for and that's ice fishing. In fact, uh, Lake Simcoe in Georgina is often known as the ice fishing capital of Canada, and it's a great place to come and learn a little bit about it. So on this little feature report, I'm gonna learn a little bit about what it's like to get out in these huts and maybe catch a big one. So we're in the middle of nowhere? Uh... We are in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> we're two miles off of uh, the shore of uh, Georgina. And uh, this is beautiful Lake Simcoe. And I hope you enjoy the view. Well, of course. <laughs> Our view may admittedly have been limited due to the inclement weather we were dealing with, but as Christina suggests, when the skies are clear and blue, the views from being two miles out from shore while on top of a vast frozen lake can indeed be pretty spectacular. So it's it's bleak and gray out here, but you know what? These these huts are not uh, they're not too bad. There's warmth, and um, you know if you're not catching fish all the time. But we were doing that though, right? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, it's still a nice place. There's a, there's a little cooker there, a cooktop uh, for uh, whatever. Uh, there's, a, you know, a heater and propane and, and I guess a place to keep drinks cold. I see someone has already uh, done that, of yes. course. Uh, you know, not a bad place. It's actually more comfortable than most people realize. This is just one of the great opportunities to get outdoors and uh, enjoy the outdoors with your family. Um, we have eight to ten local fish hut operators that operate from January through to the middle, middle of March and they really have nice heated huts so it really is a great experience for a family with kids to come up. Um, we have other opportunities in the town of Georgina, um, hiking, snowshoeing, uh, trail, the trail system. Um, Lake Simcoe in its frozen capacity really provides uh, an endless amount of opportunities, snowmobiling, cross-country skiing is very popular and of course we can be accessed on the Ontario snowmobile trails um, which is really popular for a lot of snowmobile enthusiasts. Well Lake Simcoe, we all know the ice fishing capital of Canada and the cool part is it's not far from the GTA so you don't have to drive hours and hours north if you want to experience ice fishing, great ice fishing. Neat part is also if you don't have this stuff there's places that can help you out and there's ice hut operators that will really bring you out to the huts, give you the experience. So Georgina, Aurelia, Barrie, all the places around Lake Simcoe, a great place to get out and experience ice fishing not just with a bunch of buddies, you can do it as a family too. There's no magic formula to this I guess, is there? Not really. <laughs> I'm trying. You should say fishy, 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 does it feel like there's anything yeah. on the end of it? Well, I could. This one. I, I think we've got a fish action. I think. <laughs> hang on, hang on. <laughs> You've got a double header there. <laughs> you want to take one, Cam? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so this is moving. Yeah. 
which indicates something is nibbling on it. This has been moving. <laughs> um, I know. Oh yeah, you'd have to <laughs> twist it, I guess, right? That's what you'd have to do. You roll it back on. Here. Roll it back yeah. on. Oh, wait a minute. Look. <laughs> I think there's. Something hey, I gotta see this piece. Let's here. get down here. <laughs> show this. Show this. Do it again. I, I, I think the lines are attached. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think it's a fish. No, 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 no. no. Either, either it's a two-headed fish that's really hungry, or we're... Here, watch. <laughs> oh, that's not fair. All our hopes and dreams. Are we thinking there was a real fish down there? Well, we got sure. really excited. <laughs> it's like no. Yeah, what? It turns out I caught a uh, hundred and what seventy pounder. Oh, you're kind. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> there you go. You could say you caught an even bigger large mouth or something like that. <laughs> At least my wife would say that. Right, you missed it. They caught each other. Yeah, we were caught. So, uh, um, are there any uh, proclamations that say if you don't catch it, you can make up fish tales or? Uh... Yes, if you don't catch, you can make up any kind of story you want. <laughs> That's the way you do it in Georgia. That's the way we do it in Georgia. <laughs> Big fish tales, the one that got away. <laughs>